Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. Before we hop into this video, I wanted to announce again our first ever giveaway on the channel. Starting out small here, but I'm doing a giveaway of the Rogue One Vintage Collection Darth Vader figure. Darth Vader is one of my favorite characters in fiction, so why not start things off with a figure of him? To be eligible to win, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below on what your favorite Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker moment is. This can be from canon or legends. I will be announcing the winner at the end of the month. Without further ado, let's hop right into this. We continue today's story from the Force Unleashed 2 comic book. This comic covers the events of the beloved video game from the eyes of the bounty hunter Boba Fett, who was one of the antagonists in the game's story. Although we don't see much of Boba in the actual campaign to the game, this comic reveals that his involvement was much more important than things let on. In the last issue, we saw Boba meet with Darth Vader, who informed him about what happened the night the clone Jedi Starkiller escaped Vader's grasp on Kamino. Boba and Vader decided that the best way to capture and kill Starkiller would be to lure him back to Vader on the watery planet. They devised to kidnap Starkiller's love Juno Eclipse, who is a former Imperial pilot turned rebel leader. Boba tracked her down to a rebel frigate, where he and Imperial troopers took out everyone on board and kidnapped Juno just as Starkiller arrived. As Boba headed back to Kamino, Starkiller planned an all-out assault on the planet to get Juno back. In transit, Juno tried to talk sense into Boba that what he was doing was wrong and pleaded for him not to use her as a pawn to kill the man she loved. Conflicted as he was still a loving man at heart but still sworn to his job as a bounty hunter, Fett still flew the captive Juno to Kamino where Darth Vader awaited. This is where the last issue ended and where today's story begins. The issue opens up with Boba escorting the captive Juno Eclipse to Vader who is waiting for them on the landing platform. Vader tells the troopers to take the woman into custody where Boba halts them and tells them he will not release her until he is paid for his bounty. Vader retorts back and tells the bounty hunter that he will be paid once Starkiller is captured. For that was their agreement. Boba demands that when Starkiller arrives, that he be as far away from him as possible, for he knows how dangerous this Jedi clone is. Vader agrees and tells Boba that once Starkiller is dead, Boba will get an exclusive contract with the Empire. Juno tries to get through to Boba and tells him that the Empire is only using him and that it's only a matter of time before they turn on him as well. Boba responds by telling her that the Empire will always have enemies that need to be taken down, and when the time comes that they don't, there will be plenty of places in the galaxy for a rich bounty hunter like him to hide. Boba then meets with Vader as they watch on as Starkiller and the Rebel fleet arrive on the planet. Boba prepares his sniper rifle and rockets up to take out his target, when suddenly he begins to see the Rebel ships in the sky all start exploding around him. This was a trap, and he fell right for it. Dozens more ships fly from the explosion, opening fire at him and on the landing platform below. Boba makes his way to an open door at the facility, narrowly evading the rebel invaders. As Boba makes his way through the facility, he comes across one of the cloning labs of Kamino, where he then comes across one of the failed, zombie-like deformed clones of Starkiller. The clone senses Boba's presence and enters into a feral, almost primal-like rage and attacks the bounty hunter. It slices Boba's blaster in half with its lightsaber, and Boba proceeds to torch it with its flamethrower. The wounded clone then uses the force to blast Boba off the platform. The bounty hunter manages to save himself and grab the platform's edge. As the monstrous clone approaches to finish Boba off, he activates the rocket launcher on his jetpack, which flies directly into the face of the creature, blowing its head off and saving Boba from certain death. The wounded Fett then makes his way further into the facility, where he comes across one of the Kaminoan scientists he had spoken with before in the last issue. He tells the scientist the area is under attack and that it is time to leave. The scientist tells him that he must stay there and protect the classified cloning data and get it back to Coruscant. We then get a good look at the clones that the scientist is looking at. These are not deformed clones of Starkiller. These appear to be none other than clones of the legendary bounty hunter Jango Fett, still in production after these many years after the Clone Wars. But there is something wrong with this batch. They are horribly deformed with their faces contorted and even exposed muscle tissue bulging from their faces. Boba asks the scientist what is wrong with these clones and the scientist tells him that due to this certain batch of clones being accelerated, 
something happened during the cloning process and caused these clones to malfunction and break down. He says after the Rebels are gone, he will do more experiments on the clones to see what went wrong. Horrified at how his father Jango's legacy was being perverted for such horrifying methods, Boba pulls his rifle on the scientist and tells him that he will not let him leave his father's clones this way. The scientist then makes a shocking revelation. These are not clones of Jango as Boba thought. These are clones of Boba himself. Shocked at this news, Boba demands to know how the Empire got his DNA. The scientist reveals that Vader had hired a female bounty hunter to steal it and sell it back to the Empire. This bounty hunter was none other than Boba's girlfriend Zasha, who we saw in the very first issue of the comic. All this time she was using Boba as a bounty. Shocked, disturbed, and disgusted at what the Empire was doing behind his back, Boba kills the scientist and begins opening fire on all the failed clones in their tanks. He uses his flamethrower to burn them in their pods and blows up the lab, putting these failed life forms out of their misery. Lives ended that should have never even began. And that is the end of this issue of the Force Unleashed 2 comic book. Did you know this about this story? Did you know the Empire was secretly trying to build a second clone army with Boba as the template? Have you played the Force Unleashed games? What other Star Wars stories would you like us to cover? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are awesome and loved, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.